now, it's time for Football Friday Night with Rod Smith and the KRCG 13 sports team. And good evening, another good night of high school football here in mid-Missouri. 16 games to highlight, only a few unbeaten teams after three weeks, two in the Central Missouri Activities Conference. We'll begin our expanded coverage in Columbia. The Rockbridge Bruins nearly 3-0, lost a three-overtime game to open the season. Blowout victories, Capital City though, the Cavaliers 3-0. This was their toughest test so far. Cap City was ready though, Rockbridge. Uh, Evan Schaefer crosses the goal line of the quarterback keeper. Cavaliers on top at the end of the first quarter. Bruins open things up on offense. Big night for Devin Holt. The senior holds in the touchdown pass from Brady Davidson. Rockbridge now on the scoreboard. Holt not done. Davidson hits him again for another long score. No one is going to catch him. 83 yards for the Bruins track star. 13-6 Rockbridge at halftime on homecoming, but the Cavs respond opening the third quarter. Schaefer keeps it 13-13 game in the second half. Bruins answer back. Check out this play. Davidson hits Drevin Seaman. Seaman turns on the Jets. An electrifying play by Seaman puts Rockbridge back on top. Bruins pull away in the fourth quarter. They take down the Cavaliers in a good one, 25-13. Another big CMAC showdown tonight. Helias unbeaten after three weeks, taking on the Camdens and Lakers. KRCG 13's Grace Gillis has the story at the lake. Yeah, Rod, tonight marks the start of a new conference rivalry as the Lakers battle to take a game off third-ranked Elias here in Camdenton. Fans packing the house to see the C-Mac matchup. First quarter, Elias' Austin Weaver launches a bomb to Sam Lopez. No Laker in sight to stop him. Crusaders on the board 7-0. Later in the first half, Camdenton picking up speed. Carson Dernan has Deontay Hare downfield. The 55-yard connection puts the Crusaders in scoring position. They would settle for a field goal, making it 7-3. Moving into the second half of play, Crusaders lead 14-8. Then on fourth down, Helias goes for it, and it pays off. Sam Lopez with another huge catch. Alex Wood finishes off the drive for the Crusaders, putting them on top 21-8. And Helias would finish a big second half with a 38-8 win. Helias now 4-0 on the season. Homecoming week at Jefferson City High. The court getting front row seats on the field. There's your queen, Deja Mays. The king was playing. Number one, Kendrick Johnson. The Jays hosting Smith Cotton at Adkins Stadium. Good crowd here. Long opening drive for J.C. Tavion Davis in that pile. One yard touchdown, 7-0 Jays. And a good smile from my friend Sophia Bax from the Jay Cheer Squad. Next possession, Jay's driving again. It's Jaden Laviolette with a two-yard touchdown, 14-0 after a quarter. Jay's gave up one big play in the first half, long touchdown, but the defense was strong after that. Blake Switzer forces the Smith Cotton fumble, and the King, Kendrick Johnson, picks it up. Nice return to midfield. Later on, it is Johnson playing wide out. He rarely comes off the field. Nice pass and catch Alex Wilson to Kendrick. Throw it high and he'll come down with it. That sets up the Tavion Davis touchdown. Official of the night, Rick Nichols says this one broke the plane right there. Touchdown Jays, 21-7 at halftime. Deja Mays and the King Kendrick Johnson honored. Jays hang on to win it, 35-28. Columbia C-Mac showdown at Hickman. The 0-3 Cupies, 0-3 battle Spartans. Somebody's got to win tonight. Spartans strike on their opening possession. Give it to Chris Brown, and he goes to work. The senior running back, 68 yards to pay dirt. Battle with a quick 6 to nothing lead, but Hickman would respond late in the opening quarter. Braden Bursey, quick strike to Elijah Tatum, and he gets free, takes it down the near sideline, 6 two yard touchdown. It was 6 6 after a quarter. Huge second quarter for the Cupies. Bercy scrambling finds Brock Camp. End zone 28 yard score. Hickman with 21 points in the second quarter to go 27 6 at halftime. Hickman wins 34 to 20. First victory for Justin Conyers as the head coach of the Cupies. We had a fun night on the Football Friday Night Preview. Central Bank tailgate out of California High tonight. Pintos hosting Blair Oaks, number one team in the state. 
You can't get a better start than this for the visiting Falcons. Jackson Engelbrecht takes the opening kickoff, 78 yards for the touchdown, 12 seconds into the game. It was 7 to nothing. Blair Oaks. Next drive for the Falcons. Fourth and long. Tyler Batch rolls out. Hits Brady Dapkus. And takes it in for another Falcon touchdown. 14 to nothing. Falcons were far from finished. Tyler Batch next drive. This time keeps it himself. 21 zip lead. And Brady Dapkus. He finds the end zone again. This one on the ground earlier through the air. 28 to nothing at the end of the first quarter. Falcons adding. Two more touchdowns in the second period. Sophomore Carson Verslois in 42 0 at halftime, 63 7 the win for Blair Oaks. A battle of unbeaten Tri County Conference teams in Boonville tonight. 3 0 Pirates hosting the 3 0 Southern Boone Eagles. Thanks to our football Friday night partners from Prep Cats for the video. Late first half, Boonville fourth and 15 from the 37. Emmett Bishop steps up, fires it to the end zone. Landon Cons hauls it in for the touchdown. Pirates take a 7 3 halftime lead. Same score, third quarter. Bishop on the keeper goes in from a yard out. 13 3 Boonville. And that was the final. Pirates are a perfect 4-0. Back to the lake. Eldon and Osage rivalry game at the home of the Indians. Thanks to Will Holtz and our friends at Lake TV for the highlights. Midway through the first, Osage backed up in its own territory. Give it to Drake Williams. Gets to the far sideline. Turns on the Jets. He will go all the way. That is an 80-yard touchdown. Scamper puts Osage on the board. And Williams was not finished. First play of the second quarter. Give it to Williams again. This time near sideline. Another touchdown run. 35 yards. Osage rolls 41-22 for the Indians. Tough home game for the Fulton Hornets hosting the Hannibal Pirates at Bob Fisher Stadium. Pirates first play from scrimmage. Senior running back Michael Ferreira untouched. 45 yard touchdown handle out to the 8 0 lead. Junior Landon Essig takes the handoff, slides into the end zone. It was a 30 to nothing Hannibal lead at halftime. Another 30 in the second half. Hannibal wins 60 to nothing. The Mexico Bulldogs trying to even up on the season, welcoming the Marshall Owls. Good night for the Bulldogs. They recover their own kickoff to start the game, and Corbin Dorsey punches it in for six. Same results on the next kickoff. One play later, Charlie Fisher finds Tyson Carr in the end zone. 14 0 Mexico. Bulldogs rolling. Third down, 61 yards out from Paydirt. And Drew DeMint covers that ground with a big touchdown run. 20 point lead for Mexico. DeMint once more corrals the punt. Finds a lane to the end zone. Another long touchdown. Good night to be a Mexico Bulldog. Steve Hague's team getting it done all over the field. And for good measure, Fisher opens the second quarter with a, another touchdown to Carr. Mexico cruises 49 to 13 over Marshall. The Centralia Panthers coming off back to back wins going for three in a row tonight on the new home turf taking on Monroe City. Centralia on the board just over a minute into this one. Ethan Ross takes the snap. He'll go all the way 45 yards for the Panther touchdown. Lots of offense in this game. Drake Maynard breaks free for a 45 yard Centralia touchdown. They had a 26 to 22 lead at halftime. Monroe City though big fourth quarter comes back to beat Centralia 36 to 34. More high school highlights coming up. A huge test for the North Callaway Thunderbirds while the South Callaway Bulldogs take on a former conference rival. Stay with us on Football Friday Night. Welcome back to Football Friday Night. Another one of those unbeaten teams in Mid-Missouri. North Callaway coming in 3-0. T-Birds won only two games all of last year. This was a tough matchup though tonight against Powerhouse Bowling Green. 13-1 last year. Second in state. 3-0 so far this year. This game was tied 8-8 late first half, but Bowling Green scored three offensive touchdowns in the last two minutes of the first half. Chase Eskew scrambling. He takes it in for the Bobcats, and they kept the momentum going. Bowling Green wins 50 to eight. Down at South Callaway High, the Bulldogs looking for back-to-back -back wins with an old conference friend, Montgomery County, making the visit. Already up early, South Cal able to punch it in. Colton Adrian puts the Bulldogs up. To score, South Cal also making plays on defense. Nathan Hector makes the interception across the middle here. That would set up the Bulldogs in good field position. And take a look at this very next play. It is Hector who now catches the pass in for six. Bulldogs win it 35-19 over Montgomery County. Two and one Tipton Cardinals back in the home field tonight after a tough test against uh, a very good team last week playing Windsor tonight. Greyhounds coming in 3 0. Thanks to Derek, Dr. Terry Robinson for the video. Tipton takes the lead. Dane Schatzauer to 
Lucas Cashman touchdown 6-0 Cardinals tipped and defense coming up big goal line stand there Cardinals going to the air Schlotz hour to Cashman again touchdown Tipton. Big win for Bill Duke and the Gridbirds, 18 to nothing. Kirksville over Mulberry, 28-7. Tolton, a good win. Russellville downs Afton versus Sales Falls at El Dorado Springs. The Lynn Wildcats trying to make history tonight, looking for a first-ever varsity win, traveling to Mexico to play the Missouri Military Academy. Thanks to Riley Glenn for the video work. Joel Brandt, nice interception for Lynn here, and then some history. First varsity touchdown for Lynn, it's Hunter Fish. Going in, giving Lynn a first ever lead. Then it's Bish pitching to Cameron Helsher for a second touchdown, and they had a lot more. Lynn wins a first ever. Congrats to Steve Sampson and the Wildcats 30 to nothing over MMA. Hallsville Indians traveling north to take on the Tigers at Macon tonight. The Indians have come close looking for a first win. Braden Matheny, big night. Hits Aiden Zdorsky here for the touchdown. Later, Matheny goes to his favorite target, Isaac Stinson, who's having a great season and a great career. Hallsville, a new head coach, Paul Stevens, gets his first win, 46 to 15. Owensville Dutchman looking for a first win of the season on the home field, taking on the Tigers from St. James. Will Johnson with the video highlights. Owensville scores first. Adam Wilson to Zayden Gates, 25-yard touchdown, 6-0 lead, but the Dutchman lead did not last. St. James scored the next four TDs, including Carter Wilfong here. St. James wins it 24-6. The Tigers are 3-1. Salisbury falls to Harrisburg. Good win for the Bulldogs tonight. It was Westrand over Fayette. Van Farr beats Mark Twain. And Herman will play tomorrow against New Madrid County Central. Big softball weekend in Jeff City is off and swinging. And another home football Saturday at Mizzou. SEC opening preview coming up next. This edition of the KRCG 13 Sports Desk is sponsored by the Mockins Automotive Group. Another football Saturday in Columbia. The nation's seventh-ranked Missouri Tigers open SEC play against Vanderbilt. Mizzou, a big three-touchdown favorite to go 4-0, oh, but Coach Drink isn't taking them lightly. The coach has done a really good job with his coaching hires. I think their offense is uh, new and, and, and um, innovative and, and tough to defend. They utilize their quarterback, uh, Diego, in a lot of different ways, and he, and he gives them a chance on every play to be explosive. Lincoln at home against William Jewell tomorrow at noon. First ever matchup, William Woods and Westminster in Fulton tomorrow night at six home games for Central Methodist and Missouri S&T. Big softball weekend in Jefferson City, the annual Lady Jays Classic. 16 teams competition, four diamonds, including J.C. Summer Branch hit a home run here for Jefferson City. Lady Jays had a 4-1 lead over Parkway West, but then a future Michigan Wolverine, Sienna Snyder, with the bases loaded, hits a grand slam. Lady Jays fall 5-4. Over Capital City High, Lady Cavaliers facing a very good Hallsville team earlier. Lady Indians with only one loss, Peyton Davis. Two on for Hallsville, drills one to the fence. Hallsville wins big, 10 to nothing. Fans were pumped up at Ashland. Southern Moon taking on Lee Summit North. Lady Eagles on the board. Gracie Britton here with the RBI double. Good pitching from Abby Smith, 5-4 win. They'll finish up the Lady Jays Invitational tomorrow. Meanwhile, Back to our high school football coverage. Steve's Pest Control Defensive Pest of the Week goes to the homecoming king, Kendrick Johnson. Big hit for the Jays. Also had a big fumble recovering return. Kendrick, our Defensive Pest of the Week. Big thanks to our Football Friday Night crew, and thank you for watching. Enjoy your football weekend. We'll see you next week. God bless, and have a good weekend. Football Friday Night has been sponsored by GFI Digital. Kempker Heating and Air Conditioning, Steve's Pest Control, Community Point Bank, and Custom Promotional Branding.